Hi, this is how I'm gonna program the key for Honda Accord 2013. 2014, sorry, Honda Accord 2014. So, first, I'm cutting the key for it, and then I'm gonna get the computer in the machine in the, uh, the car inside and do program it. And I'll show you how to do it. It's me together so you can see when I use my program the computer inside the programming computer and what the procedures I do for now this is just cutting the key it's still left 32% so we're still in nearly the half of the cutting and I did already cut the other side so we only need to cut this part and then we're gonna go to this Honda to program the key inside. Okay, here I'm cleaning it a little bit. So it's gonna be clean. Okay, so it's 79%, nearly finished. Okay. That's going there. Coming out slowly, slowly. Okay, 98 means already done. Okay, so at the coming out, we'll clean the key. Okay, we'll clean the key, and then now they have the key. So this is the Honda Accord that we're gonna do let me check it in the door first it doesn't go into the door really well yet because it's like a new sock you know you need to put the sock on first and then same as here here yeah it's going in it's perfect and then we'll clean it for the door. But first, I want to make sure that it's entering here and coming out. We'll do it again. So, yeah, both sides. Yeah, I need to clean a little bit this key. But here we go. This is my computer auto. What we're going to do, I'm going to put the first key that is already programmed into the car. Close the door, put this windows up because it's kind of freezing outside. Okay, and here I've got my other key. And so the difference between this key, you see, there is no green lamp of the key. But when I enter this key, when I enter this key, you'll see right away there is a green lamp right here. It means that the car cannot be started because it's locked. I need to program it. But if I put the normal key that was already programmed, the one that was before, you see this thing disappears. And so that's what we want. We want this slam disappear. So we're going to go to control unit, making sure there is enough battery, immobilizer Honda. Let's say OBD diagnostic connector 16 pin, yes. We do okay. Turn the ignition on. Is already on. We do yes. Configuring the system. It's gonna take maybe a minute or so. And then don't worry, we're gonna make this key fit the door. It just needs some oil and a little bit more entering because yeah, the new key four blade system. Here we go, okay. It's gonna come up now to the car. So add key. You see it says add key, not all key lost. Don't do all key lost because you need to make these keys again. Insert the register key to the ignition and turn on. Okay, that's what we did. It's already on.
Turn the ignition off 15 seconds. Yeah, we got it. Turn the ignition on. Using the same key. We got it. Initializing. Turn the ignition off. Again. And now we're going to insert the new key and turn the ignition on. Okay. Establishing. Turn the ignition off. Is the new key. Turn it on again. Yes. Turn off and turn on again. And now as you see, the green disappeared. It means the key is programmed. And now it's initializing. It's going to ask me if the lamp disappeared. You know, is the Bolazio lamp go out? Yes, say yes. Turn the ignition off. Then on, and as you see, the key doesn't come out. The green key, it means the key worked. It's perfect. It says numbers, keys four. Well, I have two here, but it's definitely four. Okay, we'll say okay, and start the car. The car starts perfectly. This is the key that was programmed before, and this is the new key that I cut. It starts the car. And also opens and closes the doors. Perfect. It's done. The only thing that I need to fit it into the door and it's pretty easy. You just go out and do it again. Maybe I need to bring some oil because the rain, but you see the key here. Yeah, maybe I will need to cut it again, just for the door. We'll cut it again. Cool. So that's for now.